Right, so I'm going to throw some fairly coarse, clean sawdust into the tank and mix it all up. And you'll see as it starts to circulate that it'll start sticking to the filters. I won't put too much in because if you put too much in, you've got a job to film through, through it. So I'll just put a couple of handfuls in, mix it all up and see what, uh, see what happens. Now, hopefully you should be seeing that the, that the little uh, filters, the plastic and the metal ones are already starting to block as a serra disc is still clear. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to clean these off with my hand. And I think you'll see how quickly they gather debris again. Yep. So the middle ones, the can ones are already getting a load more debris around it and it's only been what, 10 seconds since I cleaned it? And the same with the plastic one on this end. Whereas the Serra disc is still relatively clear. But again, the can filters are blocked up already. So they're blocking up in about sort of 10, 15 seconds. Whereas the Serra disc, as you can see, is still, is still really clear. So you can see now from this angle, um, that there's more and more uh, debris now building up on the Serra disc at the back. And that's because the can filters are almost completely blocked. Um, so, but you can see how there's still quite a lot of blue area on the Serra disc and um, I think it's it's uh, point made really. You can see the strings, you can definitely see the strings on the middle and the left hand side now are getting much less. There's a Serra disc one going great guns. Ah, there we go. The plastic one's now stopped, blocked, and you can see the air bubbles coming up, which basically means that it's so restricted that the, uh, that the vacuum, uh, and the middle one started as well, that's interesting. So those two have almost blocked at the same time. But you'll notice the Serra disc on the right hand side is still flowing at full rate. So you can see now how much the Serra disc is still running. Uh, this is about, what are we, uh, an hour and 20 minutes running so we'll just have a look at the uh, filter itself to see how much debris we've got on that and I just want to show you one of the other tricks that we do with the Serra disc just to prevent full blockage because with a lot of pumps if you run them dry it's a very expensive process to replace the, the parts or the whole pump so we've got a safety feature on the Serra disc which I'll just show you in a minute. So the other feature, the safety feature on the Serra disc filter um, is one which allows pumps to not run dry. Uh, so what happens is when the filter gets blocked, and although it's not completely blocked now, you'll see that it's building up quite a bit of debris on the outside. Uh, but as this gets completely blocked, what happens is it draws the plates together, which then causes the top disc to pull down, and it exposes a small orifice here, which just allows enough water to go through to keep the uh, pump system from running dry so that's a safety feature but you mustn't allow them to run for too long like that because obviously it will it has a tendency as you'll see there to draw in debris through the the holes but certainly with things like mono pumps uh, it can be the difference between saving the pump and the pump uh, becoming obsolete or at least needing a lot of expensive repairs so that's the that's the safety feature there